हेलो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर दिस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड अबाउट द फैटीएसी सिंथेसिस सम पार्ट्स एंड टुडे आई विल डिस्क्राइब अ रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द फैटीएसी सिंथेसिस दैट इज इलांगेशंस एंड अनसैचुरेशन ऑफ द फैटीएसी सिंथेसिस फर्स्ट आई विल सी यू द समरी ऑफ द फैटीएसी सिंथेसिस व्हिच आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड बिफोर दिस लेक्चर to understands about the elongations and uh, unsaturation of the fatty acids because without knowing about the back side of this uh, lectures you cannot understands elongation and the summary and also unsaturation so uh, i am describing that uh, this is the steps that is involved in the fatty acid biosynthesis also i have described that uh, the still acp formation of the acetyl acp and malonyl acp how it forms malonyl acp and acetyl acp this is the three carbon compounds and this is the two carbon compounds okay and uh, uh, these malonyl acp acyl carrier proteins this is also acyl carrier proteins acyl carrier proteins is attached to the prosthetic group that is phosphopantothein okay phosphopantothein uh, and uh, so this is the condensation steps that is malonyl acp and acetyl acp combine condense and then co2 is released these steps after this is the fourth steps okay this is the fourth fifth sixth and seventh okay fourth fifth sixth and seventh step uh, and uh, the remaining steps i have described in the back lectures so if you not uh, understand if you confused then go to the back lectures of the fatty acid synthesis and you can easily understand okay Uh, then uh, this acetyl acp and malonyl acp condense to form aceto acetyl acp that is four carbon compounds okay and these within aceto acetyl acp the reductions that is use of nadps to formation of nadp ndp plus and then again dehydration that is removal of the h2o and formation of d3 hydroxy acyl acp that is also four carbon compounds and after then again reductions the formation of the crotonyl acp after after hydrations in the d3 hydroxy acyl acp crotonyl acp is forms and this crotonyl acp uh, further reduced that is reaction process occurs nadph is converted into the nadp plus and then butyryl acp this is the butyryl acp that is four carbon compounds okay and in the butyryl acp again malonyl acp is condensed in the butyryl acp malonyl acp is condensed and th this process again condensation that is butyryl acp and malonyl acp that is condensation occur here and then reduction dehydration and reduction okay so the synthesis of the palmitate that is synthesis of the palmitate 16 carbon compounds will take place how many cycle you can think that 4 5 6 7 and 1 2 3 there is another steps then only one acetyl acp is required and then butyryl acp is converted from the acetyl acp okay so the only one acp acetyl acp is required and malonyl acp is required seven times okay malonyl acp is required seven times so this malonyl acp formation takes place in seven times i have described back this lecture okay and then acetyl acp is required only once point out this is the point out process that acetyl acp one and malonyl acp7 so because acetyl acp forms butyryl acp and then malonyl acp is added in seven times cycle 2 that is condensation reduction dehydration reduction okay and in six see six carbon is forms and again in the butyryl that is hexyl acp after butyryl acp two carbon is added then six carbon forms that is called hexyl hexyl acp is formed within hexyl acp malonyl acp is added and then or uh, the cycle condensation reduction dehydration and reduction process takes place and in the cycle 3 c8 carbons and in this way the seven cycle after the seven cycles that is two carbons of the acetyl acp and in the seven times two carbon from the malonyl acp is uh, totally collected to form c16 carbons that is two carbons here and seven Times seven times two carbon is added to uh, malonyl acp 
from the Maloney recipe to the steel recipe that is 7 to the 14 and that, that is 2 carbon from the steel recipe is converted into the C16 carbon compounds okay and in the last step hydrolysis process is uh, involved so the removal of uh, use of one water molecules okay use of one water, water molecules and uh, you see that uh, this seven times uh, cycles takes place so the seven NADPH is required seven NADPH is required and here also seven NADPH is required so the, after the seven cycles total numbers of seven to the two is 14 NADPH okay 14 NADPH and there is one water molecules in the dehydration takes place so the seven H2 is required within this all cyclic to synthesis of the polymetate 1 h2 and 1 and 2 2 into 7 is 14 nadph and 7 h2 is required and then 7 times co2 is released 7 times co2 is released in this synthesis of the palmitate so this is the summary that the 7 steel coenzyme A plus 7 CO2 plus 7 ATP plus 7 H2 okay to forms 7 myelonyl coenzyme A 7 myelonyl coenzyme A and 7 ADP okay I have not shown this uh, reactions this process in this uh, lectures because I have described about this lectures in the fatty acid synthesis lecture okay so this uh, uh, 7 acetyl coenzyme A plus 7 CO2 plus 7 ATP and 7 H2 forms 7 myelonyl coenzyme A because 7 times myelonyl coenzyme A is required for the condensation process and only 1 acetyl coenzyme A plus 7 myelonyl coenzyme A this is acetyl coenzyme A plus 7 myelonyl coenzyme A plus 14 NADH 14 NADH form palmitate okay form palmitate plus 7 CO2 7 CO2 and then 14 NADP plus okay 14 NADP is required uh, form 14 NADP plus is formed and then 6 H2 6 H2 that means one hydrolysis hydrolysis means one water molecules is required to the hydrolysis so here one molecules is used and then 6 water molecules is remain so here is 6 H2 so after summarization of these two process summary that means here 7 steel coenzyme A and uh, for the formation of myelonyl coenzyme A and here 1 steel coenzyme A so total 8 steel coenzyme A okay this is 8, 8 steel coenzyme A and that is 7 ATP is here required 7 ATP required here is not any 7 ATP is required neither forms and there is 14 NADPH is required here and here is not uh, needed to any NADPH to formation of the 7 myelonyl coenzyme A and then after cancellations that is here 7 H2 and also there is the 6 H2 so after cancelling out 1 H2 is remain here 1 H2 is remain because 6 H2 is here formed and 1 H2 is cancelled so there is 1 H2 and after these the total palmitate plus 7 NDP plus 14 NDP plus is forms to synthesis of the palmitate okay this is the summary that's uh, uh, the 8 steel coenzyme A the summary is you if anyone asks that how many steel coenzyme A is required to synthesis of the palmitate so the answer is 8 steel coenzyme A okay and 7 ATP and 14 NADPH and 1 H2 to synthesis of the palmitate so this is the answer after then the elongation process is required this will take place in the cytosol elongation process this is also elongation process but there is elongation means that is the c16 palmitate and another is c18 and another is c20 carbon compounds that is linoleic linolenic and also arachidonic acid that is 20 carbon compounds so how these carbons is added further how this carbon is added this is called elongation process and this elongation process takes place in the eukaryotes in the mitochondria and in the endoplasmic reticulums okay in the mitochondria and in the endoplasmic reticulums okay but the most active forms is found in the endoplasmic reticulums most active forms okay 
most active forms is found in the endoplasmic reticulum. Point out uh, that uh, the, in the endo endoplasmic reticulums, that is acyl coenzyme A, 16 C carbon compounds, that is palmitate, and here myelonyl coenzyme A, that is 3 carbon compounds. Point out this is myelonyl coenzyme A, here myelonyl ACP, that is acyl carrier protein attached to the prosthetic group, phosphopantothene. Uh, here not uh, ACP is uh, formed, so only myelonyl coenzyme A is required and this myelonyl coenzyme A is added to the acyl coenzyme A that is palmitate and then this group is removed and this is added here. This is added here. So, RCS2, RCS2, C double bond, C double bond and then this is CS2, CS2, C double bond, S and conjime A forms. Okay. So, there is not acyl ACP is required. Only 3 carbon myelonyl conjime is required in the endoplasmic creatoculum for the synthesis of or elongation of further to adding carbon compounds in the palmitate okay in the palmitate this is common palmitate to forms in the cytosol and after adding carbons that is required myelin coenzyme a and then the further this process condensation reduction dehydration and reduction this will take place okay further adding of the two carbons in the c16 carbon to make c18 carbons okay then uh, also require condensation here this is the condensation okay and then reductions reductions and then dehydration reduction dehydration reduction so here also nadph is uh, required here also nadph is required so if anyone ask that uh, how many nadph is required to formation of the c18 carbons so you can add it these two nadph that is here 14 nadph and then you add it to 2 nadph and then can, uh, you can say that 16 nadph you will say that 16 NADPH is required to formation of the 18 carbon compounds. Okay. Uh, and also you can add one water molecules and also remove one CO2. Okay. Remove so one CO2 here. So, uh, this was the elongation process adding of the carbons. If anyone say that uh, how many NADPH is required to form a rachidonic acid that is the 20 carbon compounds then you can add it further. Uh, 2 NADPH and 1 water molecules and again uh, uh, 1 water molecules and again uh, removal of 1 CO2. Okay. So, this was the summarization to synthesis to elongations of the fatty acid uh, synthesis and this will take place in the endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria. But point out that in the mitochondria not myelonyl conjyme is required, acetyl conjyme is required, acetyl conjyme is required not myelonyl coenzyme is required in the mitochondria for the synthesis of uh, 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 for the adding of carbon compounds. So, this was the elongation process that will take place in the endoplasmic reticulum and the mitochondria. And again, unsaturations means saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acid that is only single bonds is found and unsaturated fatty acid means double bonds. Okay double bonds and there is many double bonds single bonds at the 9 12 and 15 position that is in the if it is found in the 9 position that is called delta 9 position double bond so this is unsaturated with only one position and if it found double bonds in the 9 position and also in the 12 position so you can say that this is also unsaturated fatty acid but it is contains it contains double bonds with two positions and of if uh, it is found in the C9, C12 and C15 positions then you can you will say that there is the triple double bonds is found in the unsaturated fatty acid. So, there is a number of unsaturations, number of unsaturations in the eukaryotic systems. In the animals also in the human beings only delta 9 positions unsaturation will occur because the enzymes that is uh, involved for the saturations at the C12 and C15 positions that enzymes is not found in the animals that enzymes is not found in the animals only delta 9 position that is C carbon number 9 positions double bonds that means unsaturation would occur in the animals and again you can say that uh, the linoleic acid linoleic acid that is 
सी नाइन सी डेल्टा नाइन आई डिनोट इट डेल्टा नाइन डेल्टा ट्वेल्व एंड डेल्टा फिफ्टीन दैट इज डेल्टा नाइन ओनली वंस बट लिनोलेनिक linoleic and linolenic acid is found in the triple and double bond form so linoleic and linolenic acid cannot be synthesized by the animals okay only delta 9 position and saturation will be performed by the animals okay so uh, this was the unsaturation so this unsaturation will done in the microsomal microsomes that is microsomes formed from the endoplasmic reticulums and these microsomes in the presence of oxygenic condition that is fatty acid coenzyme a plus o2 is converted into the that is saturated this is saturated forms and it is converted into the unsaturated form sorry this is unsaturated form unsaturated okay unsaturated and how this process will take place there is different process is involved different cycle that is fe2 plus ions that is uh, iron uh, that is desaturate there is the desaturate that is reduced form is converted into the uh, uh, saturate sorry this is saturated sorry desaturate this is also desaturate desaturate is found in the reduced form and after this converting into the oxidized form that is fe3 plus there is fe2 plus okay this is oxidized form this is reduced form there is 2 plus charge there is 3 plus charge and uh, converted into the unsaturated form from the fatty acid coenzyme a in the presence of oxygen and again this process is a uh, uh, further proceed that is desaturase is converted into the saturase in the presence of cytochrome b5 that is reduced here is oxidized these reduced forms Uh, provide one uh, uh, one uh, provide one protons and that this convert into the fe2 plus okay this reduced convert into the fe2 plus and again fe2 plus is uh, formed to unsaturated and again converted into the oxidized form and this cytochrome b5 is always present in reduced forms then it is also converted into the oxidized forms and this is this will reduced okay so again how this uh, cytochrome b5 is oxidized and reduced by the fadh2 that has two hydrogens is converted into the oxidized form that is oxidized forms and this is also reduced form and this this uh, why this is oxidized because the, this reduces the cytochrome b5 this reduces the cytochrome b5 so this process will take place and nadh is converted into the nad and this also reduce forms and get oxidized and this oxidized uh, causes this oxidation oxidation causes to reduced this fadh2 reduced so this cycle will take place in several times for the saturation and unsaturation for the saturation and unsaturation of the fatty acid either it would be uh, c16 carbon Further saturation, RC18 carbon, RC20 carbon. So this process will take place, repeat and repeat for saturation and unsaturation for unsaturation from the saturation uh, and uh, the synthesis of uh, the fatty acid takes place uh, in the uh, cytosol and combining with the mitochondria and uh, endoplasmic reticulum that is elongation synthesis and also formation of histidine coenzyme. If you not conclude. that how steel coenzyme is formed and where steel coenzyme is formed then go back to the lectures to understand because steel coenzyme is formed within the mitochondria and uh, transport out of the mitochondria then steel coenzyme take part uh, to the process formation of the myelin coenzyme and uh, different process takes place in the cytosol and this elongation process further takes place in the endoplasmic reticulum and uh, mitochondria okay so uh, in the next lecture i will describe about the oxidation of the fatty acids that is elongation and saturation and then how oxidation and where oxidation takes place i will describe in the next lecture so thank you